we really want to support everybody in whatever career path they choose. Um, whether that is to be a general internist, a hospitalist, to go on to subspecialty fellowship. And when I first came here nine years, well, 10 years ago, um, I, during my residency, had kind of felt like once I decided not to do fellowship, I was kind of left to my own devices to figure out, like, what do I do? And one of the hospitalists here, um, when I joined, had said, would you be interested in creating a pathway for residents who want to do hospital medicine? And, and I was really excited about that opportunity because I thought there was a lot to be said about, you know, career development, um, interviewing for jobs, finding jobs, how to do those things. Because if you're going for a fellowship, there's a very set pathway. And if you're graduating residency and looking for jobs, it's a very open opportunity <laughs> that is sometimes difficult to navigate. And so I was tasked with creating this pathway and we reviewed a lot of different pathways across the country. We reviewed what they do for hospital medicine fellowships across the country and tried to really select elements that we thought would best help our residents um, moving forward in careers in hospital medicine. And to be honest, we've really tapered that down over the last few years because residency in internal medicine prepares you very well clinically to be a hospitalist. And it's more about the career guidance, the mentoring, uh, the different settings you can work in. So whether it's academic or private practice, um, you know, small groups, large groups. So we really try to bring in a lot of different frames of reference and people who are working in lots of different jobs uh, to talk about their experiences and help the residents feel more comfortable going forward with their careers after residency. It's been wonderful to hear from all the graduates from our program that they feel very well prepared above their peers to practice hospital medicine. So for us, we really want to focus more on, you know, the interviewing skills and looking at contracts and, you know, all of the things included in the business models that um, as an internal medicine resident or as a medical student, we really don't cover very much. I think we have a great hospitalist group here and a lot of them serve as mentors to our residents who are thinking about hospitalist careers. And we have um, hospitalists who've practiced in private practice and academics. I've often linked residents with people who've gone out into private practice so that they can you know, feel more comfortable about how different hospitalist um, programs work. So I think just having that support throughout your residency and, and even if you don't join the hospital's pathway, just knowing that, you know, I'm always here to support you. You know, I can connect you with people. We can get you into different programs and different settings that might help you feel more comfortable with this career choice, because I think it's, it's a big decision to make. Um, but I think once you've made that decision, having people there to support you and guide you um, to finding a great career place is, is really important.